Here's a Norway spruce, Picea abies, and unfortunately it has something wrong with it. You can see here on this branch, needles turning yellow, some turning brown, needles falling off here, caught in the spider webs, and the whole tree has turned kind of yellowish, not looking good. And you can see right next to it, contrast, there's a good looking Norway spruce. So you should be able to see right away, not good. And because it's the whole tree and not individual branches, we can rule out something like Rhizosphere needle cast. So the first culprit I would suspect would be a root rot, possibly Phytophthora root rot, because that would be the most likely. And I don't really know why, other than maybe it gets some runoff. The water in this area here kind of runs down and maybe the roots got too wet, or maybe because it's next to a dead tree stump here, maybe there's some underground fungus action going on. Whatever it is, this one, out of a line of seven, this one Norway spruce is headed down here fast. This is the end of July. Temperatures are hot, but it's been looking bad for several weeks now. It did get supplemental water like the others, so it's not a drought problem. Um, so yeah, there you go, Norway spruce, which is supposed to be the most hardy, stress-resistant spruce for Tennessee. This one had some problems. I'll do an update right now on some other spruces to show you what's happening. Here's some other Norway spruces where I had trimmed off the bottom branches because of rhizosphere needle cast. And the rest of the tree looks pretty good and hasn't really experienced a lot of needle loss on the interior. So with a bit of luck, there's another one, exact same story. With a bit of luck, this may do the trick and at least delay the needle cast, but I don't know, I'm not that hopeful. So this is a wait and see. Here's a Serbian spruce, Picea omorica. And so far this has been a big success. Put on a lot of new growth, really healthy looking. And uh, yeah, I like the Serbian spruce so far. Got these from naturehills.com. We'll see how it does over the years. Serbian spruce so far, thumbs up. Here's a Black Hill Spruce, Picea Glauca Densata. It had a little bit of frost damage, so now there are three liters. I'll have to trim that later. But it put on pretty good growth this year. That's white spruce. This would have to be the weirdest spruce. It's a Lijiang spruce, and it's continuing to put on new growth. Look at this. Here we are at the end of July. This should have been done and finished going into June and for whatever reason the buds that were on the tips of these lower branches a lot of them have gone ahead and broken bud midsummer which is kind of not ideal you would want it to wait for the winter the top ones haven't done it wait for the winter to pass and then break bud next spring but we'll see maybe there are two break buds sometimes on Lee Jung spruce but it looks really healthy so no complaints about the vigor. It's just I uh, hope that these can harden off before the frost gets here in October. Same story with the Chihuahuan spruce. For some reason it broke bud on the side branches, nothing on the top. I don't know what causes that, but it looks healthy so I'm not complaining too much. 